Welcome to Mom Talk LA. Hello, I'm Dr. Nelly Farnudi. And I am Shahzad Sepanlu. And today we're going to talk about the new reality series called Shaws of Sunset. Hmm. Airing March 11th. We are all waiting for the responses, the reactions of our community, which has already started. We've uh, started to see pros and cons, people who are for it and against it, even to the extent of starting a petition. And um, really, it's uh, stirred up a lot of emotions, emotions in our community. Yes. I think the biggest fear is that uh, Persian Americans don't want to be represented as, as, for example, solely being this way or that way. We want to um, tell everyone that please consider that th this is just zeroing in on one type of you know, So do population. you believe this is a racial stereotype? Could be, could be, but you know, can't expect more from a reality show. They're, they're, True. You know, uh, you you get a lot of sensational material and exaggerated uh, behavior, and we, we this is what we expect. From it's hysterical. Shows. It's yes. hysterical, and that's that's what selling. Yeah. Frankly, I think um, many people are attracted to that kind of uh, uh, confrontational dialogue or hearing about what happens, what goes on behind closed doors. That's right. Do you have any major concerns, though, about this area? I do. I'm concerned about the, the youth. You know, mm -hmm. my, my passion, um, I love kids, I love um, teenagers, and I'm thinking about uh, the teenagers who are currently attending Beverly High School and wondering how this show is going to influence their peer relations or dealing with identity crisis and, and mm -hmm. having to, I mean, they're vulnerable, Do you think they're right? going to be bullied? Who knows? Uh, you know, this is such a vulnerable age, age yes. and mm -hmm. uh, having to deal with so many social issues. Yes. Because what happens is when you see things on TV, sometimes mm -hmm. you really think this is how all, you know, especially at that, age, are, at that the age, the assumptions are quick, they're impulsive, um, and I believe you know they, they uh, like the Kim Kardashians, mm -hmm. they uh, look to some of these uh, characters as role models. Role models, yeah, that's where it becomes a little dangerous. But you know, I think at the end of the day, just let it be scene you know I, I personally even though I'm not thrilled about it or the depiction of Iranian Americans uh, I'm not thrilled about what I see from from just these little clips that we've watched so far mm -hmm. you know and teasers and stuff however I think that let it all come out and then let's discuss it it doesn't hurt it's a good approach it's an approach that we've taken on mom talk LA yes. we bring up sensitive matters and give you the scoop, the inside scoop, and, and talk about it. Yeah. And, and uh, we will continue to do that uh, after the show airs March 11th. We'll be here to discuss some of those concerns that perhaps you as parents and um, teachers or educators have when it comes to these types of reality shows. You know what, and I'm sure that once we watch the show, there will be good things that will come out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not all going to be negative depictions. This is just the teasers that are trying to draw people in. You know, they're making it scandalous, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we were talking about the openly gay character on the show. Reza, you know? yes. Mr. Reza. And, and was, something happened with his mom, right? I know. Mm -hmm. that, I thought that was quite, uh, you know, Humorous. Humorous. Telling. 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 Yes. telling and humorous at the same time. He was talking about his mom and how at some point his mom offered him $500,000 to, to marry, to get married. To a woman. To a woman, <laughs> yes. Well. And, and so I, I think, you know, Mr. Reza Farhan has uh, done a courageous act in being on TV mm -hmm. and openly being gay and talking about homosexuality at this time, whether it's in the Persian community or the non-Persian community, that's just something brave that yeah. I, um, I appreciate and I support. Right. And, and I think the other characters have uh, a lot to bring to the table. It's just sure. a matter of um, giving it time and, mm -hmm. and teasing out you know, what's real and what's right. not. Right. And helping our uh, kids really through media literacy and, and talking about it. Yes. That's, that's, that's and, my... And always thing. keeping in mind that what you see in these types of shows, it's not the entire reality. Right. You know, it's, it's a reality show. The, yeah, it's, it's just a small group of people within the Persian community. We have all sorts of, all kinds, all sorts of people, you know. and Many doctors. Just, many. Well, we know that. But, you know, intellectuals, writers, 
thinkers, you know, I mean, there's all sorts of people, you know, but uh, Ryan Seacrest in this show has focused on this group of people, mm -hmm. and you know, mm -hmm. so so be it. This Maybe is it he'll is. have a different group of people to focus on in yes. the Persian community. I say this push I for find, that. I find the mm -hmm. artists very interesting. The artists in our community, mm -hmm. I, I find them uh, very valuable very. and having a lot to offer. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. maybe the next show, huh? Maybe next show. Sounds good. So, in the coming weeks, we'll be talking about Shaws of Sunset as it airs. And, uh, you know, we'll just discuss uh, different uh, points and different things that happen. And uh, mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. And analyze the characters. Yes. <laughs> see you soon. See you soon.